All right, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here. It is Friday. It's Friday for me uh, as well, which is actually pretty cool and pretty rare because normally I'm working on a Friday. But uh, I'm off, and uh, here we are on the stream. Got a lot to do today, but anyway, a lot to cover as well. Uh, taking a look at the Earthquake 3D globe over here on the right, and also uh, some earthquake data coming in from various stations around the globe on the left bottom. Also, Yellowstone National Park there, Old Faithful. Um, up there on the upper left corner there. Quite a bit of a activity going on around the globe. Uh, a little bit on the west coast as well. A couple twos and even a minor 3.8 earthquake striking along the west coast region. Uh, nothing big, but there is definitely some activity on the uptick over here along the west coast. Uh, so we're definitely watching that very closely. And that 3.8 did strike directly on the uh, San Andreas fault system there just south of Hollister by about five miles um, so close to Ridgemark actually about three miles south of Ridgemark California uh, that 3.8 struck right there at about 3.2 miles below the Earth's surface um, I'll show you guys here on this little map here real quick just do this uh, real quickly you can see it right there just along the San Andreas fault system just south of the Bay Area right there. Not for sure if this mouse is going to be uh, picking up here, but uh, so that's where the activity is occurring. There was a small aftershock occurring right after that 3.8, so we'll see if there's any more activity uh, within that region right there. Uh, the rest of the globe here looking, well, fairly quiet. I mean, if you count the red rings here, it's actually uh, some older earthquake activity that's about ready to drop off the globe here. A couple fives up there along the northwest part of the Pacific Ring of Fire near uh, Japan. And latest one looks like a 4.2 near uh, Philippines, near the Philippine Islands region. Uh, but other than that, no major, or even for that matter, no moderate type of activity occurring along the Pacific Ring of Fire, the Pacific Plate out here, which is normally very very active uh, today uh, looks like you know possibly the activity could be along the west coast we'll keep an eye on it that's why I run uh, numerous data stations over here on the left side of the screen uh, that pick up Mendocino here in the northern part of the state of California and also down south Anza and also uh, Mammoth Lakes California I have a couple seismographs running uh, in that part of the state as well uh, 5.2 striking out here way down kind of like on the bottom part of the globe out here um, not big I guess it's moderate type activity uh, near the mid Indian Ridge out there at a depth of about 10 kilometers I don't think anybody felt it unless there's some folks out there in the boat I don't know even if they'd feel it out there in the water probably not um, but other than that not a whole lot of activity out there folks the activity right now uh, well, let me show you guys real quick this uh, slow slip event movement that's going on on the Pacific Northwest. Kind of kicked up a little bit here, folks. Um, let me move this thing over here so you guys can see. You know, I'm trying to do a, th a couple things a little bit differently uh, and see how it goes. This here is a trimmer detection map from the uh, Pacific Seismic Network up north. All these red dots indicate a slow slip, uh, slow slip detection being picked up by some super sensitive equipment. Uh, like I say, this is not earthquake activity. It's rather two plates slowly moving past each other. Unlike an earthquake where you get a jolt and a sudden release of pressure, these are just uh, very slowly uh, slow movement between these plates here in, in the subduction zone of uh, the Cascadia area right here a lot northwest of Seattle right there quite a bit of cluster uh, of activity going on there also extending down into parts of Oregon near Medford and Eugene Oregon as well also being picked up in Northern California more recently as well so we're getting a little bit of movement along this uh, Cascadia subduction zone now a lot of folks wonder is this good news uh, does it relieve pressure um, on the uh, Cascadia subduction zone itself. Does it prevent a uh, 
a large earthquake from occurring. Uh, no, definitely not. There's a lot of stress and buildup in certain areas out there uh, where there's been no detection of slow slippage at all. So that's the point uh, to watch. And that area specifically, I've said it lots of times in the past, is an area just off the coast of Oregon near Gold, uh, Gold Beach, I believe. I believe it's Gold Beach up there. Or Newport. I can't remember. One of the two. But either way, Central Oregon, just off the coast there, is an area where there's just definitely been no release of pressure. Uh, lots of buildup over, what, 100 and... When was the last one? 1,700? I believe it was right around 1,700. So what, 318 years? So anyway, definitely a lot of buildup, folks, out there. Um, so the sl slow slip event is, uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or not, because what we're seeing is further pressure, I think, in my in my scientific studies here, it's serious pressure being built up on the already fragile uh, locked zones. Uh, you know, when you see this plate, portions of the Cascadia subduction zone being picked up with slow slip event trimmer detection, uh, you know, it just worries me because it's making that spring just a little bit tighter. It's, you know, adding more pressure into the already uh, very sensitive locked region uh, just off the coast of Oregon there in the Cascadia subduction range. Uh, so that's, you know, that's my two cents on it. Every time we see this, I kind of get a little nervous, um, but it happens a lot. Uh, we, we do see lots and lots of... Uh, days of trimmer being picked up and then sometimes it'd be awfully quiet but today and over the past couple days there a lot of activity uh just west of seattle and also portions of oregon and northern california so we will definitely keep an eye on it uh in the meantime let's go cover solar weather real quick there's some interesting activity coming here towards the end of the weekend and into early next week uh october 7th through october 8th uh, the NOAA, they upgraded their watch for geomagnetic storms from a G1, which is a minor, to a G2, moderately strong solar storm. Um, and they are stating this is in response to a stream of solar wind approaching Earth from a large hole in the sun's atmosphere. Uh, Arctic auroras are almost certain to appear when the gaseous materials arrive. And the light show could descend to northern tier United States, such as Maine, Michigan, and Washington. So northern states, if you got clear weather uh, over the weekend there on Sunday, it looks like, 7th through the 8th, uh, you might want to go out there and see if you can't see some auroras. I'm not for sure. I've never seen them in my life. It's something I want to check out. Uh, when I went to Alaska back in uh, December of last year, I was sure hoping for them, but I uh, never got to see them. Drove up to... Uh, Drove from Anchorage all the way up to Fairbanks and uh, just never seen them. I mean, we had clear skies, a little bit of rain, some ice, snow. <laughs> it was crazy, but I never seen any any uh, of the auroras up there, which was a bummer. But anyway, so we're looking at some activity picking up this weekend here from uh, Coronal Hole. Uh, it's a pretty large one, too, as you can see there in the picture. Um, directly facing the Earth, so it's going to be... Uh, It'd be rather interesting here to see what uh, see what becomes of that. But in the meantime, um, let's see here. What do we got to cover? Sunspot activity. I mean, it's it's been dying for a long time. It's we've been in that solar minimum for what two years now, three years. I can't remember the exact number, but definitely been pretty quiet when it comes to the sunspot activity on the face of the sun it looks like one small little tiny speck of a sunspot named ar 2723 is dec decaying and uh, uh rest in peace because uh that's not going to grow any at all so other than that folks i uh, just want to do a quick update here we will watch the west coast here as i believe we're going to see a little bit further activity Popping up here down south, good possibility. Um, definitely some buildup 
going on out there along the West Coast region uh, with the absence of activity out here on the, uh, well, the western part of the Pacific Plate. Pretty mellow. So we'll watch this area over here for the for uh, any further type of activity. Like I say, we're just seeing another, well, that's a 2.2 on the other side of the world I've seen. Uh, just their standard standard I don't know if that's a word I should use but just their basic cluster of small quakes over there around the Mediterranean Sea that uh, has been taking place for quite some time now nothing major going on in fact like I say nothing major at all going on anywhere around the globe pretty quiet folks I mean we did have a deeper earthquake 4.2 strike in there Fiji but nothing big it just looks like a typical day, but uh, just looking at this part of the world here, down here south of Mexico, and also um, right around the Baja California region, like I said, we're seeing a lot of uh, movement, but on a slow uh, magnitude scale. But uh, I wouldn't doubt if we happen to see something a little bit on the larger side. I can't say exactly how large, but uh, we'll definitely see some some more activity out here on, on this part of the world here pretty quiet in between Baja and also these smaller quakes out here in the southern Mexico region too so that might be a spot to watch here for future activity um, today other than that folks swing on by the live stream if you get a chance it's pretty uh, pretty mellow right now but uh, if you have any questions concerns uh, anything that we can help you with got a pretty good group of moderators in there right now and uh, they'll be willing to help you out if they can if not uh, I'll try to help you out as well I'll jump in all right folks peace out stay safe out there and uh, always have an earthquake plan we'll chat you guys a little bit later